Hello guys, my name is Tu. In this video, I'll be demonstrating Mesh Morphing Techniques, which is a new, new function in NXCAE 9. So, for that demonstration, I will quickly create a hexahedral mesh using the 3D Sweet Mesh Techniques. Okay, and this is the new, uh, this is the mesh. If you do the automatic mesh as such, the elements IDs and the nodes ID are automatically assigned. So, mesh morphing techniques will allow us to preserve the element IDs and node IDs uh, when the design change is small. So, let's say I want to create some manual uh, labeling on the on the nodes. So, we quickly change the labels. So, for example, the current labels is uh, 498, we change to 1000, apply uh, 1001. 1002 and 1003 Now let's quickly check the labels at this point which is 1000, 1001, 1002 and 1003 which is what we want uh, We need to preserve this uh, ID when the mesh update next time so let's try to do a mesh uh, let's try to do a design change by using our synchronous technology new phase command move this phase slightly so for your information mesh morphing techniques is not suitable when the design change is relatively large because when the design change is large for example like this uh, the nodes and the grids we, when we uh, when we try to successfully preserve the grids uh, of the mesh you can you can force we can foresee that the mesh pattern will be crumpled up at this location will be very compressed at this location and the mesh quality is not good so while doing a mesh update we also need to uh, ensure our mesh quality is uh, good for the solver therefore uh, if the design change is large it, it seems impossible to do a, a mesh a mesh morphing while preserving the element quality so let's assume that the mesh uh, the design chain is more as such apply okay and use the offset command to create another design chain at this location here and okay so now we can quickly see the existing mesh and also the new cat data which is different so if we press this uh, button which is already here uh, since previous version all the preserve all the custom all the manual ids will be flushed away for example if i press this button and we check the elements id again you can see the element ids are not according to our manual definition for example 1000 1001 1002 and 1003 because everything is already flushed away by this button so for that purpose we need to undo this command we will not be using this command to update the mesh but we will use the mesh morphing techniques which is here automatic morph so this is a one click uh, command which is very convenient for example i click the mesh and click ok and say yes and the mesh is updated to the new uh, geometry very fast and we can still preserve uh, the elements uh, the nodes ids as such so this is a convenient way of doing things. If you don't, uh, there is also another way uh, of doing the morphing techniques, which is called the manual morphing, which requires a lot more uh, steps. So I will show you briefly on the manual mesh morphing. So this is a manual morph technique. Uh, you will need to create several definition. For example, uh, nodes to the face uh, will show here. This this nodes will map to the the uh, polygon face on top of it and the nodes to the edge we map the nodes at the edge to the new edge so this is a kind of tedious work but uh, uh, it re but this is a pr very precise uh, definition so first of all we need to choose the elements that will be moving around so as such so all these elements will move around then and the others will be uh, resting it will be not doing anything so these elements will move and then we choose a uh, node to the face for example i choose uh, all these nodes 
we move to this phase, which is a new phase, and say uh, create this map, this create this mapping. Then a uh, note to the edge. We choose uh, this edge here and move to the new edge. And also we need to choose the endpoint or the vertex. So this is the endpoint one and two. Create a mapping, and I will need to create three definition for the other three edges. So let's create. Uh, let's choose this edge. Move to this edge. Uh, vertex one, vertex two. Create a map. And um, choose this edge. This uh, new edge. One, two. Create a map. And finally, this edge. Choose this uh, new edge. And one and two. And create. Don't forget to press the create mapping button. And that's it. So you have total five definition. One, two, three, four, five. In order to fully define just one phase. So imagine you have another phase here. So you need to do it. To do the same thing for the second time. But anyway, for this demonstration, I will just uh, clicking OK here, and can, you can see the uh, changes on the mesh. Now let's quickly check the mesh, uh, the elements IDs. Uh, so you can see the nodes IDs are still uh, preserved. So, and this is the whole purpose of doing a morphing techniques. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.